Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Hussain and today I'm going to be talking about the use of TENS unit or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation for managing chronic facial myalgia. So before I wrap up towards the end of this video, I'll actually provide a demonstration on how to set up and use this TENS device, but this is for educational purposes. So let's talk about what facial myalgia is. This is just where your muscles of your pain, your muscle are causing the pain of your face. So that's where myalgia comes in. So in a study that I referenced for what this treatment, it was published in 2016, and what the authors evaluated was the effectiveness of TENS unit in women with chronic facial pain. So I'll be sure to put the study in the descriptions below, so if you want to look it up, you can. But to summarize this study, so they took 49 women and they divided them into two groups. One group received the TENS therapy, um, and the other group served as a control, and they didn't receive any treatment. The TENS group received the TENS device for one hour each day for, ten, for a 10-week period, <clears throat> and what they measured with this were pain levels, and they used two different scales for this. They used something called the visual analog scale, and that was to measure their subjective report of pain, and they used something called the muscle tenderness scores to measure objective pain measurements. So that would be like palpation of the muscles and how much pain that was caused or was perceived there. So the findings of this study. So again, it was a 10-week study for TENS, and there were significant reductions in both the subjective and objective levels of pain reported by the TENS group compared to the control group. <clears throat> there are participants in this study, they experienced less pain both in the terms of like their average level of daily pain as well as their maximum levels of daily pain. And this was also reported not just for the subjective, but the objective. So the muscle tenderness of both like the face and the, and the neck also decreased. <clears throat> so. And then what they also found in this study is that pain relief persisted even after that 10-week therapy. So they're, they kept doing follow-ups all the way up to 25 weeks. So 15 weeks after therapy, the patients that had received the TENS continued to report improved pain. So the study reported that conventional TENS was an effective treatment for managing chronic facial myalgia. And it's important that the TENS is a safe option. And during this specific study, there was no significant side effects reported. So now let's get into the demonstration. But please remember that this is a demonstration. It's not intended for personalized medical advice. So always consult with your healthcare provider before performing any types of treatments. And if you're using TENS, start under the guidance of a qualified professional to make sure that the settings are appropriate for you and your condition. So now let's talk about the parameters that were actually used for the TENS device in this study. So they used the pulse frequency and that was set to 50 Hertz and the pulse duration was set to 50 microseconds. So you remember, and then again for the protocol, it was a 60 minute treatment every day for 10 weeks. And then they, for the electrodes, the electrodes were placed in two spots um, on the same side. So they put it on the trapezius muscle and the masseter. So the trapezius is up here or the back of the shoulder and the masseter is right here on the jaw. So where they, where they described how to place it, it was halfway in between the acromion process here on the shoulder and the seventh vertebrae. So it's right about here, right in kind of like where the meat of the muscle is. And then for the masseter, right here is the angle of the jaw here, and it was one centimeter above, and you can really feel that's where the meaty part of the muscle is. So here's what it would look like setup-wise, and this is what I've actually been doing with a couple of patients. Um, the TENS device that I'm using is the, what is it, Avon TENS uh, PT1 Pro. I really like this device lately. Um, I think it's easy to set up. Um, my patients really like it. And another thing that I find great about this device compared to some of the other ones I've used is that their electrodes actually maintain their stickiness for multiple uses and don't have to use any of like the adhesive gels to help you know make those adhesives last longer. So that's been actually a positive. So I kind of already have the device set up. In the study, they use these uh, two inch by two inch squares. Sometimes for these treatments, I've also used um, circular ones, especially for some of the people that I have that are smaller that were like these pads are a little bit too big for the area we're trying to treat. So. I'm going to plug it into my device here. I'm just going to turn it on. And then again, here are, I'm going to actually set it. So right now it's set to 50 Hertz, but I'm going to have to set it down for the pulse width to 50 as well. So let me set that real fast. And the treatment is for 60 minutes. So I would set the time there. So this is what the parameters would look like on, on this device. So I'm going to plug it in. Make sure that I'm on the same channel. If you have it on both sides, you would put two electrodes in, but I'm just gonna demonstrate on the one side right now. So where I would put these electrodes, I'm gonna put the first one on my masseter, which is right here, kind of find right where the meat of the muscle is. You can always clench your teeth to kind of feel that, but right there is the angle and one inch above, so I'll put it right there. And then I'm gonna take my other electrode, and that one's gonna go halfway between the acromion process and T7. 
So here I'm gonna actually have to reach through my shirt to do that. And just right on the meat of the muscle, so halfway in between. Okay, right back there. All right, so it's in, it's not rolling or peeled up. If your electrodes are constantly up like this, you're gonna to wanna to change them out. So I have it set. What I'm gonna do is turn the knobs here. What I also, what's nice about this device is that I don't have to guess if it's on. When I turn it on, it has actually a digital readout so I can see that it's on and at what level it's on. So the level that we're going for with this particular device is where you start feeling a sensory stimulation. So you'll feel a buzz in, in under where the electrodes are. If you start getting muscle twitching, that's too intense for this, for this kind of treatment. We're really just trying to do the sensory, um, the sensory stimulation, not the muscle stimulation, because those are different nerve pathways. So we're not going to want to stimulate them. And you want to go as the high intensity as you can to tolerate. So right now I'm at five. It's a strong buzz, pretty comfortable. I'm going to go up to six. That's fine. Seven. Now with seven, you might not be able to see it, but it's starting to actually make my lower eyelid twitch a little bit. So I'm going to back off that because that's not what I want to be occurring in this. And so that's right here, the setting that I'm using. And then once it's set, I'm just going to kind of leave it go, lock it out. And then I'm just going to sit here and relax or go back to my work while this does the treatment that we've been trying to do. Um, if you have any questions about how this is set up, you can let me know, uh, but definitely consult your medical provider if this is a treatment that you're interested in so they can show you how to set up and go over any problems that might occur. Because sometimes people can have allergic reactions to the electrodes, they can have the settings set inappropriately. So do make sure you consult with somebody before you ever try something like this.